Hey makers, this is Dhruveen and in this episode, I am going to talk about Copilot in Excel. We will talk about the different use cases and what are the features available with the Excel combination of the Copilot Pro. Before we get started, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, do follow me because these are the platform where I'm uploading short content on Power Platform and Copilot. So without further delay, let's get started. So here I am on my machine and here you can see that I have opened one of the Excel spreadsheet over here in my computer. Now remember one thing before you get started with Excel Copilot, make sure that this spreadsheet is uploaded into your OneDrive for business. If you are working on the local file then copilot feature probably will not work into your machine at this moment while of recording of this video but maybe in future they will provide this support so i have already uploaded that in my onedrive and this is what i have opened from my excel client now the thing is that we need to start with the copilot when you open your excel client you will be able to see this copilot option over here for you Let's click on that. This will open Copilot window on the right hand side. Over here it is offering the different functionalities like this. You can add different formula columns, you can highlight your cell value, you can implement sort and filter functionality, you can analyze your data and you can write your own custom prompt as well over here. So now let's get started and explore all of this feature in depth with me. Now before we start prompting the questions to our copilot we need to convert our data into table format and in excel we know that let's say for an example we have this much of fields and we want to convert into table we need to use ctrl plus t this will open this create table prompt for us and over here uh, it automatically show you the range and make sure that you select this tick box that will add some sort of headers and click on ok that's how this will convert it into table and you can provide any name of your table over here once you provide the data in the table only after that copilot will able to give you answer based on that so make sure that you convert your data into the table now here in this example let me select all the rows over here and I already converted into the table so my table name is financials over here okay so I don't need to do any action over here so make sure your data is in the table format now the next step is let's ask some question in the natural language to our copilot so let's say I just wanted to know sales by different segment available in the database. So let me just write a quick prompt over here. So I'm just writing a prompt like sales by segment. Okay. And let's see what copilot will generate over here. So it is working on the data and let's see what it come up with. Usually it is taking 30 seconds to one minute to answer the data. And it is also depending on the amount of data that you have in your Excel spreadsheet and what type of question you are asking to your copilot. So over here you can see that within few seconds it gave me this answer and it just created this beautiful graph for me over here. And it also provided me the description over here that what it generated for me over here. Okay, now let's say for an example, I like this graph and I just want to add into one of my spreadsheet, then I can simply add add to a new sheet. So let me just click on add to a new sheet and that will add a new sheet in the Excel and you can see that this type of pivot and this type of graph has been added automatically in my Excel. Now again you can see that whatever prompt you have provided over here depending on that it is showing some more suggestions as well to you so you can uh, click on that and you can uh, deep dive more into your data over there as well okay copilot is not just only limited with this type of question and answer in the natural language but it also format your data so let's say for an example uh, here i have a column called unit sold column okay now from this unit sold column i just wanted to highlight uh, the highest unit sold value over here okay then what can i do is i can simply uh, write a prompt here that highlight the highest value in the unit sold okay so what we can do here is either you can write a prompt directly over here like highlight the highest value in the unit sold and click on send button or you can simply clicking on view prompt clicking on edit and over here as well it is providing you the template for highlight highlight the 
and you can just mention whichever column you want to highlight okay so i just write here hi highlight the highest values in the unit sold and hit enter and let's see what it come up with so it is working on the result and you can see here this is my unit sold column and you can see that it has highlighted with the green color the couple of highest unit sold value and it also give you a, a message that done i applied green color fill and a black font color or to the top 10 percent in the column unit sold okay so it just highlighted those stuff now it just not only limited to the highlights but sometimes let's say for an example here i do have sales data okay so this is my sales column i simply want to apply sort on the sales column from smallest to largest so i can simply write a prompt here like this sort the sales from smallest to highest and this will sort my data so let's just hit enter and let's see what it come up with and here we are you can see that this is what my sales column is and here you can see that sort icon has been applied and smallest to largest order has been applied perfectly over here and sometimes if you want to undo your expression that you have done over here with the copilot you can simply click on undo to go back i'm not doing anything over here at this moment now let's check more features over here so let's say for an example now i want to apply some filter so filter on the product but two products i want to target here like if my product is vtt or my product is velo only those products should be available in the filtering then how can i do that so for that i will just write a prompt here filter so i have written a prompt here that filter product of vtt and velo and now let's hit enter and let's see what happens and here we are it just give you the prompt that done i have made the following changes i applied a filter on column product table financial to include the following value vtt and velo and you can see that this filtering icon over here and the overall column also been filtered over here okay so filtering is working absolutely fine now let's say i just want to do the undo the operation i can simply do undo and it will reverse that expression over here as well so that's how you can do highlight sort and filter now let's explore a couple of more features in excel and copilot sometimes there is a need where you want to create some sort of formula so let's say for an example i just want to find out the total cost for the product okay so let's provide a prompt to our copilot that calculate the total cost per product in the new column then i can simply write a prompt over here like this calculate the total cost per product in the new column and let's click on send button so when i prompted this it is showing me the formula like this total cost per product and it is just calculating cogs divided by unit sold but i don't think so this is the correct one so make sure that copilot is not someone who is giving you always the correct output the way you want okay now over here it get confused a little bit so what it did is it just did this cogs column and it just did unit sold column and it just calculate the total cost per product okay but actually what we want is total cost i want to calculate in a way that it should be unit sold multiply by this manufacturing unit okay so how can i do that so i can change my prompt a little bit over here create a cost column by product which is unit sold multiply by menu factoring price and let's see what it will generate now so now it has generated the correct formula for me so make sure that when you are writing a prompt and it is not giving you proper result you tweak your prompt little bit and create a column again now it generated this kind of formula for you over here okay and now you can simply click on this insert column so that that will be added over here let's click on insert column and you can see that that cost has been perfectly added over 
here okay that's good now let's do one more level up so i'm writing a formula that create a column for profit which is equivalent to selling cost multiplied by quantity so basically this is selling cost multiplied by quantity and manufacturing cost multiplied by quantity so whatever subtraction of those two are that is something i want to calculate as a profit so let's hit enter and let's see what it generate with and here we are this is generated a column perfectly and this is how it looks like so it created this profit to column for me now let's do one more level up i just want to highlight some sort of color over there so i just do some sort of formatting for that again i can do a prompt i can click on edit and over here it provide an option apply red yellow green color scale to column so let's say i'm just providing red green yellow color scale to my profit column profit to column okay let's see what it come up with and you can see that it has just provided the conditional formatting over here now if you don't like this formatting you can undo that you can write your own prompt as well over here so let's say for an example here i'm writing a prompt red green color scale to profit two column and red for negative and green for positive let's see what it come up with okay and it has generated this type of color formatting over here for us okay it's not 100% perfect but at least most of the negative value it highlighted with this it didn't understand the prompt properly but somehow it formatted it like that okay now there is one more option also available over here when you go on the top of the copilot it is providing an option to us like analyze so click on that so it just providing you the different stuff over here i can analyze the data and show insight in the chat and pivot tables select a suggested prompt and describe what you would like to know so it is providing you the different suggestions over here so let's say total profit of this over date or is there any out year out year in my data so let's see if i if you just prompt it it will start answering you those things for your data see it has started this answer and four outlier it finds over here and if you just want to add to the spreadsheet you can just do add to sheet and it just added this stuff over here into the spreadsheet itself or you can do one thing after this you can again go to view prompt and maybe try to understand your data and show insights about data when you do that it will show the different insights based on the data that you have provided in the table format in the excel spreadsheet so let's just do it and here we are it is showing profit by date data it also giving you some sort of text description as well to you even if you just want to add that to the new sheet it will simply add that in the new sheet along with the pivot table okay let's say if you just wanted to know one more thing like sales versus profit by each segment and when you hit enter it will create that pivot as well for you so let's see what it generate with and here we are you can see that sales and profit by segment it created this pivot for us and when you add that into spreadsheet it just added that pivot into the new sheet in the excel itself okay so yeah these are the different flavors of excel and copilot so we started with our journey with writing some basic prompt after that we implemented sort filter highlight feature along with that we created some calculated columns for us and at the end we just did the summarize of our data model as well so and at the end we summarize our data as well over here so that's how excel and copilot will work tell me in the comment section what else in the copilot you want from me in my next video i'm happy to create some content around that hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and subscribe my channel and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me with this this is thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye